Thank you for tuning in to this interview. As Miss Robin mentioned, her introduction to music came from her mother. During that disaster... Don't be afraid. Look here. It's a bird. Look, a bird. I want to hear more of Miss Robin's story. Do you know her, Miss? Let me tell you all a secret. This bird knows Robin. It knows all about her. During that disaster, Robin couldn't hear anything except for the loud ringing in her ears. But she knew that her mother was singing to her. She could see her mother's lips moving. She could feel her mother's breath. You will be safe and sound. She could hear that silent wish. One day, you'll step onto an even bigger stage. Even more people will hear you sing, and they'll sing with you. No, they'll sing with both of us, brother. Right, both of us. She wanted to spread that wish through song. And weave in even more wishes. But behind the beautiful sounds, there were noises of disharmony. Sounds of every form encircled her. The gazes of many followed her. She thought about fleeing, but something always stopped her. Because a singer could never turn her back. On her audience. Or herself. The self that others protected. I wanted to protect others. That others forgave. That wanted to forgive others. That wanted to make her wishes come true. The self that wanted to make others' wishes come true. For every self, for every wish, she couldn't give up. Miss, I also want to sing on stage and sing for Miss Robin. Can my wish come true? Of course it can. Let's start now. The songs you sing, she will absolutely love them. Thank you, Miss Robin. I want to be a doctor. I want to keep singing when I grow up. The fighting's almost over. <sighs> Brother, our wish is slowly coming true. This is the end of our interview. It is reported that Miss Robin has now left for Penacony. Dear friends, we hope to see you again on the planet of festivities. <laughs>